So how do you actually start using Career AI to make your life easier, to automate things that you're having problems with that you would need multiple agents for? So today I'm going to talk through the plan I have for solving a problem that I'm currently dealing with that I think Career AI would be perfect for, you know, just making my life that much easier. Now, in previous, vid in previous videos, we've talked about setting up Career AI on a Mac, setting up Career AI on Windows, and right now the fastest setup we have is actually just a five-minute setup for setting Career AI on Google Colab that's completely on your browser you don't have to install anything so if you want the least headache when installing Cray AI watch that video I'm gonna link it in the description and once you get that set up we can start talking a little more about how you can plan out these coups in order to again just start automating making things more efficient for yourself so the problem that I have right now is I need a video editor now if you've been following if you've subscribed you've seen that I'm getting pretty consistent at posting about six times a week. Now that's great. I love that I'm doing that. I really love learning about this stuff and teaching it to others, but it is pretty time consuming. Now, the thing that I think should be what I focus on is learning the new technology and making the videos. Now, because I'm also editing them, I think anytime I make a video, I end up taking anywhere between four to six hours. And that includes learning the thing that I want to learn, actually making it, and then filming it, which for me, it doesn't take that long, but then I have to cut out the bad edits. I have to make the thumbnail. I have to add the, all the details on YouTube. And again, that easily turns into four to six hours every day. And mind you, I don't know if you've noticed on some of the videos, I end up going to sleep like around four or five, six in the morning and then just post it at night. But that's besides the point. So what I'm going to do with crew AI is going to be, I'm going to have this crew and the task of this crew is they're going to make it easy for me to hire a video editor. And I'm going to show you how I have the project set up and how I'm going to write out the descriptions for these agents. Mm -hmm. So again, and just for, you know, so you can have clarity on what these colors are. Mm -hmm. Blue just means the agents and you know, this green color or whatever you want to call it, turquoise is um, the actual task because that's the main way you write out the definitions for these agents in Korea. You have your agents, what they do, and you have your tasks, and that's just what they're going to complete. And that's just at a very high level. So again, the problem is that I spend too much time editing, like I was saying. So the structure of this Korea project is I'm going to have a business solution soundist. I'm going to have a professional video editor. I'm going to have a hiring manager and then I'm gonna have a project manager. And then we're gonna use one of the new features from Crew AI for this project that's gonna be having a hierarchical structure. So basically we're gonna have a manager whose sole purpose is to oversee and make sure that the tasks that these other agents are completing are effective and that they're being done the right way. So again, starting with the business solutions analyst. So this person is going to take or this agent is just going to take my problem, which is that I'm spending too much time video editing and he's going to look at it from the perspective of a business solutions analyst. And he's going to pretty much be able to, I guess, better define what that problem is. Right. So a business solutions analyst, they know a lot more about, you know, just business terminology, what that means for the business, what, you know, what that problem entails. So basically I don't want to spend all day talking about the problem that I have. Maybe I'll say like, Hey, I'm spending four to six hours, you know, editing. I want to cut that down by delegating it. And he's going to write out, you know, that whole description of what that problem actually is. The reason why I wanted to do that is because he's then going to communicate that definition to the video editor and also to the hiring manager. So the business analyst is going to go to the video editor and say, Hey, you know, Hector is having all these Hector spending too much time editing. You know, he wants to hire a video, a video editor. What is that? You know, what does that entail from your perspective as a video editor? Mm -hmm. So I'll probably give it a little more information. Like, you know, it's simple editing five to 10 minute videos. I have to cut out the bad takes. I don't do a lot of effects. And with that information that the business analyst provides to the video editor, the video editor, who's going to be, you know, who's going to have experience as a consultant can more or less be able to, you know, define what that freelancer that I need or what that, you know, person that I'm hiring to edit videos, the skills that they're going to have, the programs and software that they're going to use and the kind of experience or, you know, the kind of work they're going to do basically, but now it's going to be defined from the perspective of a video editor. Again, because the business analyst is the one that understands my problem originally, he's going to pass on that information to the hiring manager who's going to, 
you know, this person, the hiring manager, their job is to basically make the job posting of what it's, what it looks like. I mean, just in terms of a job posting when hiring a videoator, again, this is going to be important for me because whether I go on a website like Fiverr or Freelancer, you know, I, right now I don't want to deal with the, with the headache of having to read through other postings, having to post them and you know, all that stuff. So this is going to give me a clear clear vision into what those postings are going to look like and not only does the hiring manager take the input from the business analyst they also take the input from the video editor's perspective because at the end of the day it's the perspective of the video editor that is a, that is going to be able to clearly define what skills are needed you know based on the information that was given to them by the business analyst so that's why i have these you know orange arrows just means um output from the business analyst to the video editor and as well output from the business analyst to the hiring manager here we have the pink lines just the output from what the solution that the professional editor came up with and they're also going to give that to the hiring manager so once they figure out this problem once they've gone through this analysis then they're all going to give their output or their solutions and they're going to give them to a project manager so the project manager is going to take all this information that you know the business analyst the video editor and the hiring manager that they came up with and basically the product the project manager is going to put that together all for me and turn it into a 14-day plan of what i need to do in order to get in order to be confident in the video editor that i'm hiring so whether that's the kind of job posting I'm, I'm gonna make whether that's you know the things i should ask during an interview the things maybe there's a small project i can assign maybe i can you know establish certain terms for like hiring hiring them for a small project they're gonna tell me the budget i should be looking at for the solution i'm looking for but basically the project manager is going to look at all of their solutions and it's going to give me the plan that i need to follow right because at the end of the day this is meant for me this is meant to be something that i'm actually going to execute in real life it's not just something i'm trying to read up on it's not just me trying to learn something that i'm curious about there's something that's going to be applicable in terms of you know i don't have the experience of a business analyst i don't have the experience of a professional video editor obviously i'm not a hiring manager and i also don't want to spend too much time researching all those things looking up in chat gpt i just want the answer to that problem in an executable way and again because this is being done in a hierarchical man hierarchical man manner it's going to be the manager that makes sure that the output and solution set all of these uh, agents are sending back and forth to each other are actually you know good quality so this is again this is how i plan using korea in this upcoming project and i think this would be very powerful for anything else right because at the end of the day you want to have different perspectives you want to have professional perspectives and in terms of the solutions for problems that you're looking for i think i could very easily swap out this video editor part for an agent that's maybe later on i need a graphic artist maybe later on i need a copywriter but having this system in place where i can just give a problem for you know something i'm trying to outsource or delegate and from here on out i get a very clear-cut solution of the steps i'm gonna need to take in order to find the right person for me again a lot of and i think this shows the potential of what korea does right that some of these things some of these some of these problems that they're going to research through they're going to pass on that output to the next expert or the next agent and they can combine that data to one another to convey a more advanced solution. So in the next upcoming projects, I'll be, I will be working through building out that project. I'm gonna spend more time defining the roles, defining the descriptions, defining the expected output of all these agents so that we can get the best possible answer that we have. Because if there's something I've seen from other videos of other people doing them, I think usually the more time that you spend on building out your agents and defining your tests, the better output you're gonna get from whatever large language model you're using. And I think that's one of the parts where maybe I've been skipping over a little bit too fast. I don't spend too much time building out those agents. If you haven't set yourself up with Crew AI, I'm gonna leave the link in the description for a five minute setup. You literally just need a Google account and your OpenAI API key, and you'll be able to run it very quickly just clicking through the page. It's that simple. So let me know in the comments, what problems do you have in your life that you would like to solve off by using this multi-agent model is it also a delegation problem is it a marketing problem is it 
Is it a very specific business problem that you still don't really know how you could use Core AI to figure out? I look forward to your response. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.